everyone welcome back to my channel my goodness has it been a long time since we've been out so we are out today um with taking precautions of course and we are getting something that i have wanted this is like a childhood dream of mine ever since i was little i've just had this fascination with hairless animals but i was recently scrolling along facebook when i came across a post he had hairless syrian hamsters for sale so i just stopped scrolling and i had to message him right away and inquire a little bit more about them so i ended up messaging pickles pets because i had questions about what size enclosure to get what size wheel to get you guys know that I have Pawnee and she is a dwarf hamster. Syrian hamsters are much larger, so pretty much everything I own is too small to like share. Like Pawnee's doing fine, I, I she's doing great, but I have a bunch of extra things and I don't think I can really use any of her supplies for my new hamster. Anyway, when I messaged Pickles Pets, she was like, wait, there's hairless Syrian hamsters in St. Louis? And I was like, yeah. Apparently they're a little bit rare. So long story short, she's driving four hours here and back. Pick up one one of the hairless hamsters from me. Right now I'm waiting for Kyle to get here. I'm going to be buying two, one for me and one for Pickles. She'll be coming over later. I will give her her hamster. She will give me some supplies. And then I think we might stop at a pet shop. So yeah, that is the plan. Okay, so I just grabbed them. They're adorable. I don't know which one I'm gonna keep yet. There's a pink one and there's a gray one and they're both so cute. So let's go home and let's think about it. Okay, so here they are. This is the little gray one and there's the little pink one and they're so cute and they're really sweet actually. So this is the enclosure I'm going to put mine in. My husband right now is cutting ventilation for the top. Here is the pink one, which I think this is the one that Pickles wants and I don't really have that much of a preference. She's so sweet looking though, look at her. All right, so I'm gonna let them both run around and this is the little gray one, hello. So I think this is the one that I'm going to be keeping and I am totally okay with the gray one. This is so cute. I mean, they're both adorable, but I really do like the gray and there's just like a little bit of pink behind the ears. Look at the little tail. Oh my gosh. Oh, the, ba the baby down here is squeaking. Okay, I'm gonna let them see be with each other a little bit more. Maybe I can give them some something to forage a little bit. So these are Pawnee's favorite. So I'll just drop a couple of these in here too. So Tara's just went straight underground somewhere. I don't know where that one went, but this one is just a little social butterfly, which I was hoping for. You don't even like hamsters and you're getting stuck making another hamster enclosure. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I should probably vlog this. Huh? You should vlog this, terrible vlogger. It's dark in here. Okay, so I just got to St. Louis. I am at Cat's house. I don't know where mine is, but oh, that one's yours. He's way down there. We are at Petco with pickles. She needs hamster food. I need a smaller wheel for my enclosure because the one she brought does not fit. Also need to get some new toys and some probably, okay, they say not to use plastic tubing. So I don't know. I, I don't know what we're gonna get, but we're gonna get stuff. Hamsters love this. Do they? I've never tried it. Yeah, they love it. And it looks really cool. And this is Bonnie's favorite. From vlogging. Yep. So Petco did not have a wheel that I was looking for, so we have to go to PetSmart. So now we are at PetSmart. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get the castle for my hamster and she's gonna get the car, right? Definitely. Okay. He's so cute. He's so tiny. He's adorable. Hi. He's tired. Very gentle, nice. one finger, one finger, and that's enough. He's so dusty. Go in your key. Very dusty. 
Okay. Now. Should we make them say bye? I feel like no, I want to go back to sleep. You can go back to sleep. We have a little bit of a drive. Hey everyone, so it's been a couple days since we took Mr. Igor home and he's been doing really well. I just wanted to show you his enclosure for now a little bit more closely and just talk a little bit about how he's been thus far. So because of the situation um, going on right now, unfortunately I didn't really get to go out and enclosure shop like I would have liked. So I got a 116 quart bin delivered from Home Depot. Unfortunately, the bin that they brought me is missing the little clip lips. So my husband ended up drilling little holes in the corners and I just have them tied up with paracord. Now I don't think this is going to be his permanent enclosure. So he's only probably, he just was weaned. So I think they wean at like four weeks. So he's still really young and he's still really little. So for now, this enclosure is great. Like he's totally comfortable. And even as an adult, some people have no issues keeping them in this size. Although this is like considered the minimum size for Syrian hamsters. I would just like to maybe do more once he gets larger I'd like to see really how big he gets because I do know that the females tend to get larger and the males kind of stay a little bit smaller so I'm kind of wondering what size he's going to be as an adult another thing about hairless Syrian hamsters is that they actually are pretty sensitive so they don't have fur so you really shouldn't use like wood shavings or any kind of rough cork bark stuff like that as long as it's like smooth it should be okay but they're definitely more prone to getting like scratches or injuring them themselves so I'm playing it pretty safe and I'm only doing just like some plastic and ceramic for now but I did order some goodies offline that should be here hopefully this coming week to just give him more options to like chew and stuff like that so instead of using like plastic tunnels I have like a cardboard tunnel which I've seen him use he's actually a pretty active little guy for right now I have a disc spinner in here which he's already pooped and peed on I opted to use the disc spinner because the wheel that Tara brought me is is unfortunately too big for this enclosure. It's 10 and a half inches. So it doesn't really quite fit, especially with the bedding. We went to so many Petco's and PetSmart's trying to find an eight inch wheel in stock, but unfortunately we just like couldn't. Hi. Hi. Ooh, he tried to bite. <laughs> so here he is and he's just so precious. I love him so much. He's, he's looking for something to nibble on. He's just a baby, but yeah, he's a little bit of a nibbler, not really a biter, just a nibbler. <laughs> he makes the cutest noises. He's just like nibble everything just to see like what it is. I just wanted to show you guys how he's doing and talk a little bit more about him. Also, I did get him from AK Exotics. They bred him. They are usually at the Show Me Snakes Reptile Expos. They do skinny pigs a lot. So like I said, his name is Igor and his brother is over on Pickles Pets channel. She is like a hamster guru. So if you guys don't know who that is and you like hamsters or even leopard geckos, she's really a good source for that. I will actually link her channel down below so you guys can go check her out and follow along how his brother's doing. His brother is so cute and if I had a larger apartment I would totally have kept them both. You know it is what it is. <laughs> Before we go since Igor has been getting all the attention lately and I feel kind of bad about it I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how Pawnee is doing and give her a little bit of attention too. I know she has her own little fan club on my channel so of course this is for you guys as well and I can see she uh, definitely peed on her wheel but yeah I also noticed she she has been like chewing these little things up so much. I have to buy more. But yeah, she's usually in her burrow right under this little seesaw. And the burrow goes from the seesaw to the wheel right now. You want to say hello to all your fans? Okay. But yeah, here's Pawnee and she is doing really well. She's a year and a half old now at least. I got her in January 2018. So yeah, she's definitely getting older. She's still really active and stuff. The only thing I really noticed is that she stopped really taking care of her nails herself. Looking adorable. So yeah, there's Pawnee. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not tarantula content, but there are a few of you out there who like my hamsters and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys still enjoyed. Um, like this video if you did enjoy, subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, a podcast, and a Teespring. It's all linked down below. Go check it out. And we will see you guys soon. Say bye-bye.
拜。<笑>